to remove the background from your video in Filmora 14, there's a few ways to go about it. Let's take a look. This is Filmora 14 for desktop and I'm on the PC version. We've got a clip on the timeline. It's just a guy talking to the camera standing in this room. To remove the background, we'll come over here on the right, make sure we're on the video tab and then click AI tools. Your options for background removal are chroma key, AI portrait cutout and smart cutout. The easiest way to remove the background when you have a person and they're not in front of a green screen is to use the AI portrait cutout. Just click the little toggle button. It starts processing right away. It's by default on advanced cutout mode, which does take a little bit longer, but it's a much better quality than the other alternative of the quick cutout mode. So we're gonna stay on advanced. Our background is removed. And if we wanna put our guy in a different location, I'm just gonna to go to stock media. Let's find an office for him and we'll use this one. I'll drag that down. And I need to move the clip of our guy up a track and then we'll stretch out this office background. And there are fellas in a new spot. I see I have a little tiny space at the bottom, so I do need to move our guy down just a couple of clicks. So I'll click on that clip and just down arrow a couple of times to get him lined up on the bottom. Now underneath our AI portrait cutout, if you wanna have an outline or a border around your subject, you've got some options here like neon dashes, flashing, and some of these things get a little bit wild and crazy. You also got a basic outline here as well. And then there's options under each of those to change like the size, the color, the blur, and all those details. I don't really want that, so I'm gonna say none. But going back to the background, if you don't already have a background image or video that you wanna have your character in, let's just take that away for now. So we're back to just our character cutout. I'll make sure I have that clip selected. And then over here under video, go to the basic tab and then scroll down until you find background. If you toggle the background on, now you have the option to blur your original background and you can choose from a couple of different types of blur. You can adjust the amount of blur. Let's switch that back to the basic blur. And now we've got our cutout character on top of our original background, but we've just blurred the background quite a bit, maybe took out some distracting details. In addition to blur, you can change the background to a solid color, click the drop down next to color and pick any color you want. And if you wanna use a color from your video, you can click this little dropper tool, select any color that's in there and use that as your background. They also have some presets underneath the type, just below color, click pattern, and then pick from any of these preset patterns that they have to use as your background. We'll go ahead and turn that background off and we'll come back to AI tools so that we can look at another way to remove our background. So we'll turn off the AI portrait cutout. We'll switch to smart cutout, click to start. And before we do anything, we wanna make sure that our playhead is all the way back at the beginning. Now we need to tell it what part of this video we wanna keep. We do that by brushing over the subject or object. The brush tool is enabled by default when you come into this area, so you don't have to click or turn anything on. You just have to brush over your character and you don't have to completely fill them in. Usually a straight line will get the job done. If it ends up selecting something that isn't part of your character or object, you have an eraser tool up here. You can click the eraser tool, adjust your brush size, and then just erase out anything that it shouldn't have kept. If you need to see it a little bit bigger to work on fine detail, you can drop down here where it says fit and zoom it into whatever size you want and then use the hand to drag it around. We'll go back to fit. We brushed in our character. The overlay color by default is this dark blue, but if that is too hard to see based on the colors that are in your video, you can change that color to something else. Once we brushed over our character or object, come over here and click to start smart cutout. It'll process through frame by frame, identifying the edges. We could play through the video Video to see how it did, or we could move our timeline through and see how it is on each frame. But with just the overlay and the background still there, it can be kind of hard to see what it's doing. So you can click this little portrait icon up here and switch to transparency grid. So you can see how your cutout's gonna look on a transparency. And again, you can play through that or drag your playhead around to any specific spot. You can also see how it's gonna look on a really dark background like black by toggling transparency black and see what happens there. Now for some reason the very first frame is having too big of an edge it's getting a little bit too much but the second frame and then all the way through the video it's looking pretty good I probably wouldn't fiddle with that for just one frame since it looks good the rest of the entire video I'd probably just trim out that one frame when I get it back on the timeline but if it was like this for the whole video you could adjust the edge thickness taking it out a little bit or in a little bit in this case we'd want to come in just a smidge and you can also feather the edge which just sort of softens the edge 
up a little bit, it also takes it out. So you might need to bring that thickness in and work with balancing the feather and the thickness. Now the smart cutout also works for non-people kinds of objects. So let's drag one of those onto the timeline. We'll get rid of our original guy. With this clip of the truck selected on our timeline, we'll come over here and toggle on smart cutout and then click the click to start smart cutout. Our playhead's at the beginning of the clip. Now we need to just brush over and show it about where this truck is, what we want to keep. I got a little bit too much there. So I'll click the eraser tool, get rid of this little purple blob I got in the back. Oh, I think I left a little bit still, get rid of that. Okay, I think that's better. Then click to start smart cutout. And it seems to be tracking the truck pretty well. Of course, we can switch that to transparency grid or transparency black to see what it looks like without the overlay in the background still there. If there's some spots that need some cleanup, like maybe this light under the wheel, we could switch over to advanced mode and we could edit those frame by frame using the eraser tool. But right now let's take a look at our other option for background removal, which is chroma key. So I'll go over to stock media and drag in this fella that is on a green screen. And this is where chroma key is useful when you have a solid color background. It doesn't have to be green. Sometimes it's blue or sometimes you might have another completely solid color background that it can work with. With this clip selected under video and we're still under AI tools, let's go up to the top. We'll toggle on chroma key. By default, it's set on a a green color but like I said if you had a different color solid background you could select it or use the eyedropper tool and select it from what's there. Now initially this looks good it looks like we got it in one click but as the video plays and colors shift you might find some things that need a little bit of attention. You've got some adjustments over here including an offset and we can see going too high is taking away parts of his legs that's not good let's go ahead and reset that. We've also got tolerance taking that up seems to make his pants a little more solid if we take that down we can end up with a white background instead of a green screen. We'll reset that for now. And of course you can work with the edge feather and the edge thickness to sort of dial it in where you want it to be. In this case, I think they were fine at the defaults. Something really handy here is this little alpha channel toggle. If we toggle that on, now we can pretty easily see the spots where we've got some issues. So we want this whole thing to be a solid bright white and everything that's not part of our guy standing there to just be the black. If not, these parts that are gray are gonna be partly transparent and you probably don't want that but enabling this alpha channel can make it pretty easy to spot and then fix those issues maybe we just need to take the tolerance up a little bit and adjust the offset a little bit we only want to go as far as we need to so let's see if we bring our offset uh no we don't want to go up bring the offset down just a little bit that's making it more solid and maybe we adjust our tolerance a hair there yeah that's looking pretty good now we can turn back that alpha channel let's grab something to put behind our guy here get rid of that move this clip out to the end get our guy back over top of this clip maybe move him over to the left a bit i don't see any transparency showing through and i don't see any green edges or anything so i'd call that a success